Hey folks, how are you doing? Hopefully you are all having a great day today. I haven't published one of these vlog videos all year long. <laughs> and it's the it's halfway through the fourth month of the year. So it's about three and a half, maybe four months since I last published one of these. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, when is the last time I got in front of the camera and just rambled on? <laughs> it's been a little while. Uh, so much has changed this year, uh, all for the for the positive for me. Our family dynamic has grown, just been awesome. Uh, since my daughter was born, I've been encouraging my wife to explore the possibility of being a stay-at-home mom, and uh, the timing really wasn't right until the beginning of this year, so at the beginning of this year, she left the workforce voluntarily, I might add, to be a stay-at-home stay mom and um, explore the possibility of, of um, homeschooling and all this, this fun family stuff. So basically, this, this, this whole year has been kind of a transition for us as a family, and it has been fantastic. We've been doing so much stuff together. Uh, my wife takes Tyler to uh, story time at two different libraries twice per week, um, and I try to make it to one of them, the, the closest one on Fridays, but uh, it's, it's just so much fun having family time all the time. Uh, we signed her up for T-ball, or buddy ball as it's called, for three to three and four year olds. And uh, she's, she's absolutely loving that. It's, it's just so much fun. Uh, life is really, really fun right now. So personal stuff, one more little personal thing before I get into my normal vlog list. Uh, the exercise stuff that I've been trying to incorporate on this, this channel, uh, I, well, I did try to anyway, was kind of a thing that nobody really cared about. Very few people cared about, so I'm not gonna continue that. But just as an update, you may recall that I purchased like 10 or 12, a bunch of old equipment with dumbbells and such for $500 last year. And then shortly after purchasing it, I cut it in half and sold half of that for $600. So even when you consider gas prices going back and forth and such, uh, I was still up money. And then I took uh, over the last six, 12 months, I forget exactly which, uh, I've used all the stuff that I had and really figured out what I wanted to really keep and and basically is stuff that boils, uh, it goes back to sandbags, strongman type stuff, and then a barbell for um, the main compound movements. So I sold everything else that I acquired in that big deal for $550. So I made quite a bit of profit and then bought a, uh, a small wall mount rack and that's all that's left. So basically a wall mount rack, some sandbags, and plates and I've been using that and I love it that's basically all I need but in doing all that kind of a bunch of stuff kind of hit all at once I, I, I made that transition with the, the equipment and around the same time my daughter ran into my dust collector with her tricycle and I was like 10-15 feet away in slow motion just watching this thing wobble because it's kind of in the middle of the floor just wobbling back and forth uh, nothing happened, but I was kind of like deer in headlights, like, you know, hoping nothing would happen because I was too far away to run over there real fast. Um, nothing happened. Ended up causing me to move that towards a wall where it's secured to the wall. And then also my lumber rack was, was not secured properly and kind of in a place where she would always play. So I was like, let's just move some stuff. So the first time <laughs> during my my long history of rearrangeritis, I never... I did not want to move anything, but it was kind of uh, just need to get it done. So I did move some things around. I'm not going to go into detail or full-blown chop tour or anything, but I did move some stuff around. You'll kind of pick up on that. Well, you can see right there, I rotated my table saw and assembly table around, so you can see that. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for the, um, the little personal update stuff, whatever. So a few things on my list to talk about. The first thing is the sign video that I just published, the prom sign. That was... Um, a project that, uh, quite honestly, I didn't really want to do, but I thought it'd be nice to help out, and um, turned out pretty cool. Something that I didn't think I'd ever do, to be honest with you, uh, those those sign builds. Um, not much to say about it. It's just a basic sign uh, project. However, I did get one picture of it in place where it was actually you know displayed, and uh, I think it turned out great. And the person who organized all that said that it went over well. A lot of people asked questions about it. Where could they get something like that? I would imagine that would be parents asking that or adults. And uh, it was a big hit with pictures from, from what I was told. So 
cool, that's great. Um, a lot of questions about why didn't I cut a three for next year, didn't have enough material. Why didn't I um, cut the rest of the letters for the rest of the years so they can continue to use it? Uh, it was a budget build and we just had enough sheets. We just got enough sheets to just get it done for this year. And then also melamine is, is not a durable material on the edges. And if you're okay with the exposed edge look, which everybody was, then, um, then you just leave it exposed. And if you do leave the edges exposed, it's not durable. During storage throughout the next many years, if they continue to use it, I imagine it's gonna get chipped up and beat up and stuff as it's moved around. So uh, next year they can use just the prom letters and not the numbers. Next year they can maybe talk me into cutting a three. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, that's that's basically, it was a very basic project. Uh, next up, which I'm about to start in on later today, is a reverse osmosis water system for underneath my kitchen sink. We have water that smells like a Holiday Inn hotel lobby. <laughs> it smells like a pool. And uh, I cannot stand that. We have not drank any water, any tap water, in a couple years since being at this house. We just buy water by the gallon and of course you're you're just getting plastic jugs that need to go to a landfill somewhere which is never a good thing so uh, a change is needed and that's up that's up next but i think i'm gonna have to build some type of storage solution for all the other junk that's underneath the kitchen sink um, maybe you guys are in a similar boat where you have a bunch of cleaning stuff and cleaning supplies and such underneath your kitchen sink but it's always a wreck and Ours is anyway, so trying to tame that. After that, um, in no particular order, I've got a bunch of stuff for our outdoor kitchen. Uh, it's starting to warm up and we're outside all the time, especially with all of our family being home all the time. So I want to build an island bar and I've settled on the design. I can put it on the screen here and we'll go into detail on that design in another video. Uh, the base of that island bar is going to be a milk paint probably a gray tone of some kind, uh, and, and the top will be a butcher block top. Uh, we're going to have a matching farm table, and the base of the farm table is going to be the same color base as the, the island. The top of the farm table is going to be the same butcher block as the top of the island, so they'll kind of tie together in the space. For the outdoor kitchen, I also have uh, I spy panels. Uh, so the, the interior panels of the half wall that I made, I think it'd be very, very fun to make each individual panel a different theme of I Spy. Rather than just, you know, if there's some decorative carving on it or whatever, just, oh, that, that, that's cool, whatever. You don't even think about it. It's just decoration and you just mosey around uh, during through the space, right? Whether you're entertaining and whatnot. Uh, but if it's if it's an I Spy panel, well, then it's going to be eye-catching. It's going to be a conversation piece. It's going to be an interactive feature of the area. So I think that's going to be a little bit, well, I know it's going to be a lot more interesting than just some decorative panels. So I'm working on getting the designs done and also get working on getting a material, uh, outdoor rated material for that. Um, I think that's it. A little bit of rambling on, went through my list. That's all I've got. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you in the next video, whenever that is.